Good afternoon, parents. I hope everyone is uh, getting back into the swing of things. I know it's been a very exciting and uh, news having all our students back. I am thrilled to have our students back in the classroom. Um, I know that um, for a lot of parents, right, it's been shocking in some way, um, trying to get everybody on track. I was asking the kids today, how many of you are really sleepy and tired? Everybody's raising their hand. I said, it's going to take some weeks before we get into the hang of things, right? Um, I'm sure the parents also feel the same way with all the changes, but we're going to get there. So good afternoon to all. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and begin my presentation so that you can, um, I'll read. If there's any questions, please, uh, you can ask me on the chat as if there's something that you have a question about, uh, you can write it on the chat and I'm gonna do my best to answer. Uh, if not today, then I will uh, get back to you, all right? Let me share my screen. Welcome to fourth grade. I am Mrs. Beasley. I will be your child's teacher for this year. I am happy to be the fourth grade teacher at Holy Trinity. This is my second year. I, in, I really, really appreciate the welcoming that I have received um, starting last year since I started here. Uh, this will be my 15th year working for the Archdiocese of Los Angeles as an educator. Prior to that, I had worked for Los Angeles uh, Unified School District. I have a bachelor's from Cal State LA and a master's of science and education from Mount St. Mary's. And I, my leisure time, it hasn't been lately. Um, I enjoy watching movies with my family and walks on the beach. And no, that is not me in the picture. Just letting you know. <laughs> uh, classroom expectations. Now, um, the, I, I actually shared the PowerPoint presentation with the children and I told them this is what I will be presenting to your parents today. Um, you know, uh, what do I expect from the students so that they can be ready and ready to learn without us having too many interruptions during class. Um, listen and follow directions the first time they are giving, be on time. And we talked about being on time and I understand that they're gonna be, um, you know, emergencies in the mornings, there's gonna be traffic. So um, I told them, I understand that part. It's just getting into a habit of being on time. Uh, wearing the proper Holy Trinity uniform, uh, according to handbook. Um, I think those parents that were, they have been here, you, you, you understand any, uh, what I mean by that. Um, I will let you know if at any point there is a uniform, um, you know, situation that needs to be taken care of. Bringing required materials to class daily. The student planner is your, I told the students, this is your agenda. This is where, where you write down everything that you need, uh, what's gonna happen the next day, even what you need that might not be a homework assignment, but um, maybe plastic bags or uh, whatever they need, they will write it in the student planner. Their prayer book, uh, their prayer book, I have asked them to leave it here in the classroom. Um, and then they're going to go ahead and take it next week. I wanna make sure that they get into a habit of putting it in their green folder. The green folder comes back and forth. That's our key of communication and the weekly. Um, the weekly, uh, those parents that have been here know that the weekly is signed daily. Respect the people and equipment of our classroom. We talked about respect with the kids. Um, I said respect is not an option. Respect is something that we, that we do. Um, that's a rule. Raise your hand to speak. Um, some of them are used to being at home. So uh, coming back to the procedures, coming back to the habits of being in a classroom setting. 
Um, you know, it takes a little bit of time, but they're doing it. They actually did a really great job um, so far. Some of them still get into the moving and that's fine. That's fine for now. But I told them, you know, uh, let us remember the rules and not forget what we as students and how we're supposed to behave. So remember to always have good manners. Um, I told the kids when you respond to something, it's not mm-hmm and it's not yeah. Um, they enter the classroom, we practice saying good morning, we practice greeting other teachers. Um, it's just good habits to have. So that's for classroom expectations. Our daily schedule, we are busy. We have been going very slow due to you know, going over procedures, um, getting them to even know, you know where to line up, how to line up, how to enter, how to exit. Um, all that is important because once we start with the academics, we are not gonna have time to be worried about who goes where. Everybody's gonna know where they need to go and this way our classroom can move smoothly. So we have religion, vocabulary, and spelling in the morning, reading, grammar, writing at, at mid-morning. Writing takes place actually during the whole day because it, they can write in religion, they'll write in vocabulary. So writing is makes it part of the whole day. Math, science, social studies in the afternoon, it's either math or science, or it could be both. Uh, math is daily and PE classes will be on Tuesday. So for you, those of you that would like to know when are they gonna start wearing their PE uniform every Tuesday. Homework. Homework assignments are given to students to reinforce skills, lessons, and to increase achievement. Homework should be something that they could do um, without so much trouble. And if there is a situation where they're struggling, uh, please reach out to me. Homework will be assigned and posted daily in the classroom. There is an area that will be designated for them to always have their homework assignment written from there, and they will copy from the board. So it is their responsibility to make sure that they write it in their student planner, in their agenda. And please parents, before you sign a student planner, review with your students, with your children, asking them, is this what you have to do? Oh, is this the page that you have to do? Um, any assignments not completed during class time will be additional homework for that day. So for example, if there is a situation where a student will not complete his or her homework, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, classwork, um, you know, and it's giving plenty of time in the classroom, maybe they need a little extra time, they can finish at home. AR, reading is part of daily homework. And as you know, we are such a great um, school successful in AR that um, I know that I, last year I was new to AR, but this year I was telling the kids, we encourage, um, you know, to reach that goal because everyone is capable of reaching their goal if they're reading and keeping up with their daily reading every day. So please encourage your child to read every day, provide a quiet place um, at home where they can enjoy reading time not when it's busy. And to ensure continued success, students are assigned 30 minutes of daily reading to help them achieve their individual goals. Now, something that has um, changed for this year is students will be taking their AR test here at school, not at home. Um, so, during the day, they will let me know that some already started today. Um, Mrs. Beasley, I need to take an AR test and I let them take the test at the designated time for AR. So an AR reading log will be provided on Monday and will be due on Friday. This is for the, um, the students to take home you initial and please ask them how long have you read? Um, don't sign it if you have not seen them uh, reading. Uh, students may borrow books from the library. Uh, I have the classroom library here. Ms. Romo is also has asked if any of the students would like to borrow from her library. She, um, 
she said they're welcome to. So students may also access books from Epic. I will be setting up with the students Epic. Uh, they're gonna do it on the iPad. So you will know how to reach, uh, how to go on Epic. They will know how to go on Epic and they will show you. So students will need to have an AR book in their backpacks daily. So say they can borrow one from here from the classroom, uh, but if they, for whatever reason, um, you know, they need an, an additional one in their backpack, something that they can read and bring it back and forth, especially those students that are staying in daycare, uh, they need a book that they can be reading so that they can keep up with their AI reading. Technology, we will be using the following tools for learning, Epic. Um, they always like Epic because they can go and choose different uh, books from the digital library. Google Classroom, uh, the Google Classroom assignments. I know last year, um, everybody was, is aware of turning in assignments. Um, the assignments will be posted on Google Classroom, but they are gonna be turned in hard copy. I have not posted any Google Classroom assignments right now because I wanted to make sure parents, um, that I spoke to the parents first. Um, the other tool for online is Mathletics, uh, Common Core Math, SettlerConnect.com. Your students are familiar for, with these because last year they also used them. Class Dojo, I uh, noticed a lot of the parents have already joined. Thank you for joining. Uh, if not, I will be sending tomorrow with your, with your children a invitation class dojo letter. If you need it, if you already joined us, that's great. If you haven't, I'm just sending it for your information. And then we'll also be using student uh, studiesweekly.com um, for social studies. Behavior, students will be taking home a weekly report every day. I will communicate any necessary behavior issues. There are times where I also make, make a phone call. Um, you know, it doesn't always have to be a bad phone call. It could be a nice one, like, you know, they did a great job. Um, but this is regarding anything that uh, we need to talk about, discuss, improve, whether it's uniform infractions, behavior, academics, um, everything will be written and I will make a, um, a note for you so that you are aware of that behavior taking, class, taking place in class. So every third violation will result in a detention. So I ask that you please sign the weekly report and return it the next day. And if you'd like to contact me, I, told, I already explained also to the students, uh, for the sp students will be via Google Classroom. Uh, they're not sending me any messages that say, Mrs. Beasley, I finished my math homework. I don't need to know that, I told them. Um, it, but if they need to, a clarification and an assignment, something that pertains to an assignment, um, and I am gonna do my best to answer it either in Google Classroom or I answer it also in the classroom. And for parents, um, if it's a quick um, message, class dojo, if it's an email, uh, please email me at my email address um, for Holy Trinity. Thank you. And um, I know I spoke a lot. <laughs> um, I know that, um, yeah. So I, I'm, I'm looking here at the questions. When will PE start uh, on Tuesdays? You, they can start getting into a habit now of bringing uh, dressed and PE clothes on Tuesday. So if, if, um, if you're wondering, I know it's getting very hot. It is very hot. Um, Tuesday would be, we're also practicing for uh, fall follies. Uh, this is, this would be, I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, this would be my first time. It sounds like a lot of fun, um, you know, with, with the school uh, organizing fall follies. So I do look forward to that. 
we will be creating even what they need to wear, um, not us creating, but we have to, we're gonna think of a plan so that it could coordinate, um, you know, uh, what we're doing for Fall Follies. It's, everybody's excited about it. And I know I have some good dancers and singers in the class. So um, that will be um, something that we're gonna be looking forward to, okay? Um, any particular questions? Um, all right, uh, that would be fine. As long as you let me know, I understand that Dennis's uniform or you know, it could be backed up. As long as there's an open line of communication and I know, I, I, I understand. I know uniforms don't um, always come at the time where you're waiting for them. So, uh, so the questions. All right, wonderful. Any, um, I would like um, any comments or concerns or um, I know your kids are excited. I know they're tired too, uh, but it looks like a wonderful group of children. So I am excited. Uh, the fact that they're all in the classroom is just so wonderful as a teacher. Um, you know, it, it, it was a little challenging, right? Um, you know, those, those students that stood at home and did the Zoom while mom and dad were working. Um, it, 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 it's so great. You, you don't know how happy I am to have them back. So thank you. And thank you also for the supplies. Um, for the supplies that you sent, uh, some of you are, might be, some of the students might be missing one thing or there. Um, so hopefully by next week, everybody's, everything is turned in. Um, I will be sending something to my, I'm reading. Um, all right. So I will, I wanna answer the question in a general form. <laughs> um, I will be sending the JoJo invite uh, to the parents tomorrow. So if you have a question regarding that, I will send it tomorrow and then you can log in with the instructions. If you already did, thank you very much. You can just uh, recycle the letter, but um, you're welcome, yes. Um, and it's so nice to also have some families of my other families, uh, siblings of, other students from last year. Um, it's, I, you don't know how happy and how grateful I am, the welcoming that I have received from the parents. Thank you, those parents that have been so supportive. I, I really appreciate it. Um, I do check their, their agendas. I do tell them also that it is a responsibility to make sure everything is written down. Um, and I, uh, I tell them it's written on the, on the board. I walk around, I try my best. I walk around checking on everyone. Um, so please make sure that you remind them if your son or daughter is the student that needs reminders, you need to say, where, where, where's the date? If you don't see the date, where's the date? What is this assignment for? So thank you for all your support. I look forward to working with you as a team in this because I can't do it by myself. So I need your help. Um, please, any, any concerns, I welcome the opportunity to set up an appointment with me to, um, so that we can talk. Um, sometimes it's, it's easier and faster a phone call or um, whatever makes it easier. Um, um, I welcome the opportunity. So thank you very much. Any other questions? Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, it's great to have them here. I have, let me see, I have one, I'm trying to see three, three siblings from last year. So, um, and the families have been just so supportive. So thank you. Um, any others? 
Yes. All right. Thank you. I want to respect your time as well. Um, any other um, questions that you might have that I didn't clarify? Uh, the reading log will be going on Monday where you just need to make sure they sign. I really would like our class to be like everyone in the class meeting their goal this year would be wonderful. And I do need your help. You're gonna get calls, uh, you know, if your son or daughter have, are not meeting their goal, emails, uh, class dojo messages from me um, to make sure that they achieve that goal because I know they're all capable of doing it. So thank you very much. And um, if you don't have any more questions, I'll still stay on. Uh, maybe some parents might be joining us. I don't know, but um, this will end my presentation. If you would like to um, stay on or I know some of you, I can see that you're from the cars, right? You're being so good doing this, the beauty of technology now, right? That we can do it from wherever we are and um, be able to communicate and, and, um, and be able without so much stress of coming in fighting traffic. So um, thank you all. Any other questions? Yes. Oh, no? All good. All right. Well, you can you cannot mute yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night. All right. Good night. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Good night. All right. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Um Thank you. Have a great year, you guys. We we'll look forward to that too. All right. Good night, Mrs. Beasley. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Take care. Bye -bye. You too. Bye. So nice. One more person. Do you have any more questions? Ms. Pateri, Mrs. Pateri? I'm going to go ahead and um, pause the recording.